Let us now look at how to set up Vault with HA along with MySQL backend. And this particular setup will be end-to-end -end TLS. So Vault will have its front end as a TLS and Vault will also connect to its MySQL as storage via TLS. In the previous tutorials, we have already set up Vault in production mode and TLS mode and we have also set up MySQL in, uh, with TLS. So let's continue connecting them both. Hey everyone, how's it going? Tarun here. You might be listening to this as a podcast on Spotify, on the Developer Tarun channel or on uh, Anchor.fm or Google Podcast or Apple Podcast or you're watching this video on Developer Tarun YouTube channel or the dev.2 slash Developer Tarun blog page or on my own web website which is tarunshiv.com. Wherever you are, let's jump into making Vault end-to-end -end TLS. This is my local uh, virtual machine that I have and before proceeding on to the tutorial I want to make a few small changes that I taught you in the previous tutorial. So if we, if you remember we went to etc mysql mydb.conf and uh, 50 server.conf where we actually provided the SSL CA cert and key configuration. So I was telling that we have to actually paste it under uh, mysql d uh, as per my blog but I saw that I had pasted it in the uh, inside the server context. So I uh, took that off from there and pasted it here. That was one change. And bind address equal to 000, we had given that. But uh, what I observed is that there was also another bind address down here that was uncommented. So this would have taken the precedence and the MariaDB would still be, um, uh, what is it? Uh, bound to 127.0.0.1 and not to all interfaces. If you want your effect, if you if you want your change to take effect, you'll have to comment this line. So I had done that and I restarted MySQL service MySQL restart. And when I checked with uh, netstat, So we were able to notice that uh, my MariaDB is now listening on all uh, interfaces. Okay, So that's what I wanted to clarify before moving ahead. Great. Now what do we do? We have to create Vault user in the first place. Let's log in into Vault. MySQL new root p root. Okay. We are in. Now we can create the user. Create user what was the vault username and identified by vault password. We'll also add require SSL. I'll also add that in the blog. Uh, identified by, let's keep it vault itself and username also as vault. Okay, now we'll grant all privileges to vault on the vault database and all tables. That's what this uh, vault dot star means. And vault mysql username is vault. Okay, we have done that. Awesome. Now uh, about the mysql bind address that we spoke about. So if this bind address is incorrect or if mysql is not reachable, then there will be issues in uh, vault starting up. So please make sure to give uh, bind address to 0000 or at least to the proper interface that you are uh, uh, pointing vault to. I mean, the vault should be able to reach to that interface to connect to MySQL. Now we also need to place the ca.pem. I told you all clients need to have the ca.pem and we'll uh, change the ownership of that file. So let's exit from here. I'll uh, copy from, let's see, MySQL search ca.pem to opt uh, vault tls hmm. i'll paste it there okay ca.pem great i'll also rename that uh, opt vault tls ca.pem2 i'll tell it as mysql ca.pem okay so we have the file ready uh, now just the ownership is left out opt vault TLS, ls L, opt vault, TLS, uh, okay, what mistake have I done? Okay, I have to give the path here. opt vault, TLS, 
Okay, and uh, ch own. Okay, again I missed something. Mm -hmm. Okay, the command. Okay, uh, great confusion. Mv um, here the ca file. Yeah, ca file is mv. MySQL ca dot pem opt vault tls. OPT Vault TLS. Okay, finally, after a lot of struggle, we have put the file inside there. Sorry for this confusion. And ch own Vault OPT Vault TLS LS and Vault TLS. Awesome. We have MySQL CA and that ch own should have been with uh, hyphen R. Great, we have the MySQL CA there uh, with the vault ownership. This part is done. What's next? We have to come to the vault configuration. Let me open it. See vault vault.hcl. Let's uh, modify this storage. Uh, it was file, but it no longer is. And storage is MySQL. Okay, and path to TLS file, we will fill it with opt vault TLS mysql ca dot pem. Awesome, and uh, database will be vault password vault username vault and address to connect with uh, mysql would be uh, win tarun shiv okay mm, yes that sounds good because if you notice this uh, win tarun shiv will be the host name it is also 127.0.0.0.1 and the subject alternative name which we had used uh, to create the uh, server certificate of mysql also has win hyphen tarun shiv which is the fqdn of this machine and vault will actually verify this particular sand which is subject alternative name before trusting this particular ca or the trusting the upstream connection also or the downstream connection also so this is also very important. So that part is done. Now let us also configure this uh, vault server part and the API address, which is used for the HA purpose too. Yeah, paste this vault hostname win run shiv. Yeah, and uh, address. 8200 of win tarun shiv and tls cert file will be opt vault tls um tls.crt opt vault tls tls.key okay uh, let us go revisit these uh, TLS files. OPT vault TLS open SSL x509 no out text in TLS dot cert. Okay, I wanted to look at uh, what the SAN was. Okay, the subject alternative name here says win tarunship dot local dot windows, uh, but Okay, okay, we do have this DNS also, right? Let's copy this ping. Okay, so what what we can do is uh, let's let me go back to let's see vault vault.hcl. I want to make sure this listening address is also same. Uh, we will Just to avoid confusion. OK, 
Okay, so win thirdshift dot local dot windows is where this vault is going to listen. Now we have placed everything. We have uh, checked the configuration also. Let's reset vault. Uh, let's also check for dollar vault addr. Okay, that should be different. Let's change that. Export vault addr equal to. Uh, we will paste win thirdshift this thing. Okay, eight thousand two hundred. And uh, yeah, that should do actually. Yeah, even the vault ca cert export. Okay, let me echo echo dollar vault ca cert. Okay, we have that in place. Now what we want to do is let's check service vault status. It was already running with a different configuration. So let's try restarting it. Fingers crossed. Okay. Now we'll check the status. Mm -hmm. Also the logs, journal CTL. Mm -hmm. Vault dot service and awesome, it's running. Uh, let me zoom out here and show you what it says. It says uh, okay, memory lock, uh, memory lock two enabled. Mm, yeah if you look here it says tls enabled all right and the api address also win tarun shiv 8200 great right. now let us zoom in back vault status awesome ha enabled true storage type mysql and uh, total shared zero threshold zero and seal process zero this is because uh, this vault server has not yet been uh, initialized so let's try that vault vault operator in it awesome it has given us back these uh, files let's copy this vault not in it uh, this is the old data we'll remove this and paste the new one vault status this time it says total shares 5 threshold 3 unseal progress let's unseal it vault operator unseal task for the unseal key let's copy one vault operator unseal let's provide another key randomly it need not be in any particular order and the last unseal key it need not be in any particular order, but it should be unique key. Pasted. Okay, what is the problem? No secret. Okay, this is fine. Vault status. We see HA mode is active. Vault, uh, I mean, HA cluster. Win Tarunshiv 8201. Active since cluster ID, cluster name, storage type is MySQL. And it works. It works awesome, right? Vault. Yeah, vault status we already checked. Vault token. Look up. Permission denied. Okay, that's fine. Vault. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, vault in it. We have the root token. Let me copy that. Vault login. Okay, we have logged in. Vault token. Look up. Awesome. We are also able to log in. Vault works fine. It uses TLS front end and it uses mysql as storage and uh, it also uses tls to connect to mysql so it's like end to end secure now also one thing that i remembered is uh, if we go to the vault not hcl also uh, you can use this uh, win windows the complete fqdn in the place of uh, api address also in this case it hasn't mattered but if you want to keep everything consistent you can do that since these are local uh, virtual machines and there's no proper uh, DNS server for these, I had to uh, work, work around it by uh, using the Etsy hosts. But in production setup, this is not the case usually, right? So you need to remember these things. Awesome. So we have done a great accomplishment of setting up Vault end to end using TLS. And I'm so proud that we were able to do this. Uh, awesome. Okay, then thank you for reading. I'm Tarun Shiv. 
See you all in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.